is an infant reflex and why is it important that we should actually know and understand what infant reflexes are all about? Also, how do they affect a child's development and how do they affect their academic life? All of us as parents want our children to really succeed and the thing that we look for is that they do well at school. However, that ability really starts at a very, very early age. And you'll say, no, 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 Jill, that can't be so, because my child is not reading and writing at three months. However, your baby is preparing its entire body to be able to successfully read and write, beginning actually even in utero. You see, the thing is, as human beings, we're not fishes anymore, we're actually human beings. And when we are born, we have not really completed our whole developmental cycle. We're actually only fully developed by the time we're nine months old. So, the body is so clever. In utero, it already starts doing all the movements that we will be, have to do once we are born. When we are born, we're then fighting against gravity. So our little bodies have got to learn to become strong enough to be able to stand up against the force of gravity and to be able to stand up and ultimately to be able to walk. Now, how we do that as babies is we start to wriggle. And we wiggle and we wriggle and we are constantly moving as little babies. The body has very specific movements that it does. There's a movement that a baby does just before it starts to crawl, called the symmetrical tonic neck reflex. And it's just that little movement. And you see them, they wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle backwards and forwards. And then as soon as they can get that movement into their bodies, and they've strengthened their arms, and they've strengthened their legs, they're then able just to take off and crawl. And that's such an important developmental movement because by doing that backwards and forwards movement they're already starting to adjust their eyes so the eyes are able to see in the distance and then the eyes are able to look down and to be able to see near and that's what we call accommodation and in order for the baby to be able to look at the blackboard for the child to be able to look at the blackboard and to be able to read what's on the blackboard and then be able to copy that onto their books they have to have that accommodation in place. So that tiny movement, which only is in the body for about two to three months, just before the baby starts to crawl, is vital for their whole academic success.